Hello everybody, welcome back. In the previous class, we have learned about numbers till 1 lakh. After 10,000, we learned number till 1 lakh. Today, we'll be learning about representation of numbers up to 1 lakh on the abacus. I think you all are familiar with abacus. This is an abacus. Abacus is an apparatus used in mathematics to count numbers. It has some beads and some stands like this on which you count the numbers. Suppose in this, in this stand we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 beads on this stand. So you can say that there are 9 beads on this stand. So similarly you count this. So in this in this class we are going to say that how we can represent 1 lakh on the abacus. How can we say that 1 lakh can be represented on an abacus. So how do we write 1 lakh. In the previous class we have already written that 1 lakh can be written as 1 0 0 0 0 0. Zero. And according to the Indian number system, we can put the comma before this thousand place and before this one lakh place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, and one lakh. Now we are going to represent these numbers in this abacus. In the abacus, also we have this. This is the ones place. Tens place, hundred place, thousand place, ten thousand place, and this is the lakh place. In the in the one lakh, on the ones place we have zero, so we don't have anything over here, so we don't have to put any of the bead over there. We are not putting any beads here. We are giving it zero. On the tenth place, so one's place is over. Tenth place also we have zero over here. What about hundred place? We have zero. We don't have to put anything over there. On the thousand place we have again we have zero. On the ten thousand we have zero. And in the lakh place, look at the lakh place. We have one. So we have to put a one bead over here. See, on the lakh place we have this one bead, and on the ten thousand we have zero, thousands place we have zero, hundred we have zero, tens we have zero, and ones we have zero. So this is the way we can represent it, one lakh on the abacus. Not only one lakh, any kind of numbers. That if you want to represent it, we can do it. Example I'm going to show you. Now I will uh, tell you how to represent a number on an abacus. Suppose we have a number 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. I can read this number as 3,46,789. It's 3,46,789. Now let's see how we can represent this number on the abacus. So let's take the ones place. On the ones place we have 9. So how many beads we have to put on the ninth? Oh sorry, on the ones place. We have to put 9 beads. So we start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now come to the 10th place. Now come to the 10th place. We have 8 over here. We have 8. So we have to put 8 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Moving to the 100th place, we have 7. 7 we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Thousand place we have 6. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On the 10,000, we have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. On the lakh place, we have 3. 1, 2, 3. So, this is the way we represent it or we put or we arrange numbers on an abacus. So here we have represented 3 lakh 46,789 on the abacus. Hope you all are understanding these classes. If you have any reviews or if you have any comments to be posted or if you want the quality to be improved, please do write in the comment section and let me know that so that I can improve and I can help you all out. Thank you so much. Have a good day.